Hello everybody, it's Melissa. <laughs> um, welcome to a sketchbook tour. Uh, this is more than just a sketchbook tour. This is a follow-up to my previous sketchbook tour about the importance of art friends. But first, the sketchbook. It's a uh, Talents Art Creations 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter sketchbook that I filled between February 7th and April 30th, 2023. Um, we are going to do a flip through um, of all of my scribbles, um, but really this is about building an art community. If you go back to that previous sketchbook tour where we talked about the importance of art friends, I'll link it up in the card and below. Um, we shared, we shared, <laughs> I shared, and I actually had some contributors share some thoughts about making art with other people, um, whether it's in person or online, uh, which we do online. And the, <laughs> primarily, um, the response to that video was unbelievable. If you look at it, there's 45 comments on there on my little tiny little video. And the majority of them were talking about how people wished that they had such an art community that we talked about, um, if they could join the art community um, that they've been looking, that they feel like that's something that they could use in their life. And so why wouldn't I do something about that? I felt like I had to do something about that. Um, and so I did. I started Arting Party. <laughs> um, and so every Thursday since March 2nd, so it's it's been a while, it's now June 25th as I'm recording this, um, we have gathered together online Thursdays 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and drew together <laughs> uh, it's been so fun it's been it's been so nice to see this community grow and support each other um, and come together every week even though I mean you know life and people don't come every single week but there are people that come every single week or there's people that you know come and go um, but it's been so good it's been it's been so good <laughs> And so in the spirit of community, I reached out to Art Hang Party people <laughs> um, and asked if they would want to share their thoughts on Art Hang Party and drawing with um, other people online and being part of this um, fun art community that we're all building together because it is all of us building it together. And so... I have some words from other people. I have some videos um, to share with you. So buckle up. <laughs> um, this is this is gonna be good. A confused alien, hello, <laughs> uh, who also goes by space uh, space creature on Instagram, um, has this to say, and I'm just gonna read it. So pardon my reading ability. <laughs> To me, Art Hang Party is a great place to lay back and enjoy the company of others who love art, drawing, and music. One of my favorite parts is learning about places and animals I've never even heard of. Plus, it's a great mixture of fun, challenge, and relaxing to end my Thursdays with. Smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, a confused alien. Um, I will link everybody's um, socials uh, below, so be sure, be sure, be sure to follow everybody. Uh, next up, we have a video contribution from Clueless Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Hey, everyone. Hey, Melissa. My name is Stacy, and I watch Art Hang Party replays on YouTube because of the time zones, but I still feel like a part of the community. I've been drawing for a couple of years now, and I found that when I'm learning by myself with no teachers or guidelines, it's easy to fall into the trap of never getting out of my comfort zone, aka never drawing the things that I feel like I can't draw. You know, sketching people was hard for me, sketching animals was hard, sketching hands, feet, too hard, and drawing a landscape felt almost impossible for me. So I needed to find a way to grow my skill that is equally entertaining and helpful. I stumbled upon Melissa's channel several months ago and was instantly drawn to the Art Hang Party format. It was all I needed. The challenge of the heart themes, the fun of drawing alone with other people, some steady results in the form of a ton of colorful sketchbook pages. 
Melissa and all of the participants managed to create a welcoming atmosphere that feels safe and supportive. I love to chill with everyone here, even if it's not in real time. Art Hang Party inspires me to push myself beyond my own limits and never give up to my perfectionism. I hope I'll tune in live one day and meet everyone I create art with on a weekly basis. That's all from me. Thank you so much for including my story into this video and bye. Thank you so much, Stacey. Um, it's so nice to hear your voice. <laughs> um, and we will plan, I promise you, over the next couple of weeks, we will plan a pop-up art hang party that works with your time zone because you're not alone. So <laughs> uh, thank you. So next we have a written um, submission from Portia. Hi, Portia. Portia goes by Portia Live on Twitch and pink underscore Porsche on Instagram. Um, she is one of the best house music DJs you'll ever hear in your entire life and just one of the sweetest people. So here's what Portia has to say about Art Hang Party. What I love about Art Hang Party is that it's a supportive space where even someone like me who has no history of drawing or painting can have fun. The timed theme makes the time go by fast while challenging, challenging you to complete your piece under a little bit of pressure. I'm always impressed by what Melissa and the participants are able to produce. It's a fun and comfortable space where you can chat, draw, and even bring young or old viewers in. Thank you, Portia. <laughs> Next up, we have a video submission from Misha, who goes by Misha.illustrator on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, let's, uh, let's watch what Misha has for us. Good morning, my name is Misha Stavinsky and I am an artist based in Adelaide, South Australia. Melissa asked me if I could please put together some clips of what I've done during the Art Hang Party live stream, so here I am. Um, I am a regular at the live streams, I try to join in every week if I can. Sometimes I don't manage to catch the whole thing, but you know, it's a great time to practice for whatever little bit I am there for. I found that I have really, really greatly improved my technical skills during these live streams because a lot of the subjects that are presented to you are ones that might get you out of your comfort zone, like um, animals, trees, landscapes, um, people in, you know, really extreme poses and usually have a time limit for how long you have to do these for as well. So it usually ranges from like two, three or five minutes. Sometimes it's a longer 10 minute one. Um, I found that it has really, really improved my life drawing skills and breaking things down into simple shapes and contours um, because you really got to just pick the most important bits of information to get down in that two minutes. It's also like this great community that will encourage you to try new things and to really experiment and push yourself. So that also helps a lot. Um, it's also very judgment free. There's a very big mix and range of um, technical skills and professional level like a lot of people are just hobbyists or beginners and there's also some professionals so that is also very encouraging because you get to see how everyone approaches the same subject because quite a few of us will also send in pictures of what we've been doing um, and it'll be showcased and it's really fun I think that's the biggest thing I have a lot of fun while I do these live streams with Melissa and everyone else because we're all just you know, we're there to practice, we're not there to judge or anything, we're not there to produce our best work either, which I think is very important. We're just there to have a good time and to chat and I have filled so many sketchbooks. I mean, you can see on screen right now, I filled a lot of sketchbooks with these pieces and some of them are some of my, like, absolute favourite pieces. Anyway, I hope I see you there. Bye! Thank you so much, Misha. That was very cute. <laughs> um, next up, we have a written submission from our friend Peachy, aka Intergalactic Peach Patrol on Instagram, Twitch, and maybe soon to be YouTube. <laughs> um, here's what Peachy has to say. Art Hang Party feels like a group of friends learning together through play and collaboration. I'd bet that we're actually learning and retaining more information about our creative process and technical still skills because we're doing it with friends in a comfortable and fun environment. It's actually exactly what the name suggests. We're here for art, making art together, hanging out, and it's a party as well with music. Seriously, the music by DJ Strobe is so deeply cemented in my brain now. Sometimes it's stuck in my head as soon as I start the day. <laughs> It's truly such a wholesome space. 
and every session feels like I'm actually recharging my social battery and not draining it. Five stars, exclamation point, five star emojis. <laughs> PG, thank you so much. Um, I mentioned to DJ Strobe the other day that his music is like playing randomly in people's brains and he was like, he was so over the moon about it. So DJ Strobe, thank you so much um, for your musical contributions to Art Hang Party. Uh, next we have a video from Lauren, AKA Making Meaning Now on YouTube and Instagram. Let's take a look at what Lauren sent in. Hi, at Making Meaning Now here on both Instagram and YouTube. Just wanted to add my two cents as to why I'm enjoying Art Hang Party. I'm rather new to art and with that I wanted to dive into like going to a class or being able to like do art with other people because community, it feels good, right? Um, but I have little kids, it includes a baby, and it seems that everything happens in the evening. Except for two things that I was able to find. One, I joined my local urban sketching group, and two, hanging out at our, the Art Hang Party on Thursdays, even though it's through video, because it's live, you just get a sense that you're doing it with other people and getting to share, and it's, it's been really nice. So thanks for that. See you. Thank you so much for that, Lauren. Uh, that was lovely. Now we have our last written submission from Molly, who is Molly Comper on Instagram. And she says, I love that you set this all up. It's exactly what I've been after, somewhere to meet and chill with other creatives and maybe make some new friends along the way. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> that was cheesy. Thanks, Molly. Uh, that was great. Um, Molly actually sent that in. Let's take a side note. Um, Molly sent that in along with her request for an Art Hang Party sticker. Um, so you can see it there up on screen. So if you too would like to receive an Art Hang Party sticker, or two or three, <laughs> um, if you go to arthangparty.ca, there's a little um, request button there where you can just pop your mailing address in there and I will more than happily send you out a couple of Art Hang Parties um, in the mail. It's my gift to you for being part of this community with me, <laughs> um, with us, with all of us. So we have one more video from Deb, AKA Debbie Draws Funny um, on both YouTube and Instagram. Um, it's a rather lengthy video. So I think I'm gonna put that at the end and maybe I'll just talk a little bit about the format of Art Hang Party. <laughs> so. It's usually about an hour, an hour and a half. We typically run about an hour and a half. It starts at 7 p.m. Um, Eastern time. So I'm in Toronto, so 7 p.m. my time. Um, and each week we have a different theme. So the one that we're looking at here is figure drawing. And we usually, not usually, um, sometimes we vary the times for our drawing. So we'll start like 30 seconds, one minute, two minute, five minute, seven minute, 10 minute, and just increase in time. But recently we've been doing like consistent times. So depending on the subject matter, two minutes for like the whole, um, for the whole time for every reference photo or like three minutes or five minutes. It really just depends on how it feels, right? Like what feels right for what we're drawing um, these fish are all two minutes <laughs> because really do you need more than two minutes to capture the essence of a fish I don't think so but sometimes like if we're drawing landscapes it's nice to like quickly doodle and loosen up um, just like go crazy with the scribbles and then to progressively spend more and more time to capture more and more detail um, so that's been really fun it's really fun to kind of vary to vary it from week to week the timing along with the along with the themes um, if you have any ideas for themes please list them below um, comment with them below we do have a running list and at the end of every art hang party we've started to decide as a group what we're going to be um, drawing next week which is really fun um, and just builds like to the collaboration um, side of everything so I've really been um, enjoying getting that feedback live from everybody so that we can decide together <laughs> um, I am I am 
hoping um and it's, it's gonna happen soon to have some guests with me live um either through the powers of the internet but to have more than just me um talking to you <laughs> um talking to the to to the party um even though it doesn't feel like that the chat is really uh like a two-way dialogue which which is neat um, but yeah, we're going to start to have some guests. So if you're interested in guest guest starring with me on screen, please let me know. Reach out um, either below in the comments or through Instagram. Um, and yeah, I think we're actually coming to the end of my flip through here. So all of these pages so far have been drawn with other people, with the exception of this and the next page and the next page maybe the next page <laughs> the end of the sketchbook so we are at the end of the sketchbook um this is just me filling filling it up so that i could start fresh um on a on a fresh sketchbook at the start of an arcane party <laughs> um Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being part of Art Hang Party. If you're not part of Art Hang Party, please come and join us. It is really so much fun. It is my favorite time of the week. Um, just getting together, having fun, laughing, drawing. It's like, it's amazing. So with that, let's um, turn it over to Debbie, AKA Debbie Draws Funny and hear her thoughts on Art Hang Party. And I will see you Thursday, 7 p.m. EST. Bye. Hi, my name's Debbie, and I'm going to talk about Art Hang Party and why I love it, why I think everybody should give it a try. And I will do a little flip through of all my sketchbooks with all the messy, scribbly, crazy sketches that have come out of the like three or four Art Hang Parties that I've been able to attend. Okay, so the first time uh, I heard about Art Hang Party was through... Uh, Melissa posting about it in Sophie McPike's Patreon Discord, and that is how I found out about it. So, and I'm just so glad I did because I don't have any real in-person art friends, so <laughs> this is the closest I can get. Perhaps one day I will have some in-person art friends that like to doodle along. Um, but this was the first one I went to, which was all fish, and... I will, I gotta say, I was really tired that night because Thursday nights tend to be, um, oh, that must have just been it because then these are like regular sketches. Um, and I'll tell you, it perked me up. Thursday nights are usually like by that time of the week, I am tired and I'm like usually falling asleep by like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night because I'm an old lady. And <laughs> um, this was another one and it was all poses. But it gets, it gets the blood pumping. I gotta tell you, when you're on a timer and you're sketching, it forces you to loosen up and just look at the shapes and all that. And everyone that's there, I'm just blown away by how amazing of a job these sketches are, especially like some people that are doing like blind contour drawings. Um, let me see. And then... This was an, oh wait, no. The next one I went to, sorry, was, okay, was this one. So I actually started my latest sketchbook with an art hang party. And these were like seascapes and landscapes. And I decided to use watercolor this time. I used Posca the first time and I gotta tell you, it was a, it was a little too much pressure. So I decided to try watercolor, which, I felt like, and then I went back over some of these later, this one with like colored pencil, but um, these were all one minute. I think that one turned out the best because uh, at the time, Melissa had made the comment about the trick with rocks is to make the shadows like super dark and black. And I know it's like very abstract and quick, but from like a distance or if you squint your eyes a little, I was like, damn, she's right. Now they look like real rocks. Um, then I remember, uh, ignore this. This is like an inside joke with my family that I will have to explain when I do a sketchbook tour of this book. But um, I came back later to actually do some more um, because I couldn't stay for the whole thing. Uh, so I came back to do some more and um, I think I spent 
the two minutes on these. I may have given myself like an extra 30 seconds or something, but I decided to do colored pencil. So that's one of the things I love too, is that there's always a replay. And it just, it's so great for loosening up and like, and getting a move on and doing it. I had to go to this art hang party. I'd missed like a month's worth because May is an extremely busy month for our family. But um, this one I had to because it was all about birds and fish because I have made the comment quite a few times that fish are the birds of the sea and um, birds are the fish of the air. So Melissa had made a joke that that was gonna be like the theme <laughs> based on that which I love drawing birds and fish. So um, this one was fun. I decided to use my new uh, art, is it Art Talent, Royal Talent? What, what is the name of this sketchbook? Art Creations, Talon's Art Creations. Um, so this is actually like one I keep in my purse now because it's just nice and small, but I wanted to break it in. So I did a bunch of these sketches in here from the Art Hang Party and it was a lot of fun. It was a good time. Some of these came out looking hilarious because this was like a really weird like fish. It was like a goldfish facing you and it came out looking like chicken little in my opinion. But so some of these I'm you're you surprise yourself with if you're going to do really well or if you do like such a trashy job. So it's always it's always funny. <laughs> like I have a good time with it. I think I might have stayed for the whole party with this one because I've got a lot in here. Spiky fish were really hard to do. You really had to pick and choose what you wanted to uh, cover. Um, let's see, and that was the last one. Did I go back and do more later? I'm trying to think. I feel like I did with that one. Maybe not, maybe not. I think maybe in my most recent sketchbook, I've got more, yeah. Um, one of the, I think it was the bird and fish one. I came back and I did this page. I spent like maybe an hour and went back and did some of the, f the fish and birds over again. I decided to use Pasca and um, yeah, I, I mean, I just gave myself more time because some of these I like really wanted to work on. So I did that as like a warm up one morning and um, she picks great references. This was the latest one that was this week. It was um, like antique botanical stuff. And a lot of these came out so horrible. This one <laughs> came out very haphazard. I like had started with colored pencil and watercolor and then I ended up just like going to straight pen. Then I tried to add like some watercolor after. Um, and then that was my last one. This. These two pages I did with Sophie McPike's um, live stream the other night. Um, but anyway, I highly recommend it. It's so good to loosen up. It's great practice. It's a lot of fun. It's good, clean fun for the whole family. And you get to like hang out with people, like-minded people. So, and if you're interested in seeing anything that I do, um, you can find me at Debbie Draws Funny on Instagram and here on YouTube. Thanks so much, Melissa, for hosting all these art hang parties. You are very appreciated. You're awesome. And we love you.